Hey, how's it going, guys? This is the Airsoft Enthusiast. We'll get another tutorial video. This one's a little different. I'm going to be showing you how to give your metallic airsoft uh, firearm replica the gorgeous aged weather look that I gave my custom M1911 A1 gas powered blowback pistol. Now, first, number one, supplies. I'm not going to be a jackass and tell you what supplies you need at the end of the video. You're going to need something that prevents rust and protects metal. Dirty one looks good. Um, preferably get it in a spray version, like WD-40 and liquid wrench. Um, I do not think they make it because the green one is rather thick, but if not, there's, of course, like I said, liquid wrench works great, and WD-40 works pretty great too. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty old school. I still use WD-40. Um, you'll need a can of Easy Off. Which is oven cleaner, by the way. You're gonna need rubber gloves. You're gonna need small container like a Tupperware, or I'm in my case I used a. Uh, this is a giant Reese's Pieces cup container thing. I use that, and for bigger parts I used a box. So you'll do the equivalent. You'll put your smaller parts in uh, something equivalent to this, like a Tupperware or something. And you're gonna put your bigger parts into a box. And make sure the box, or something like a box, is, uh, whatever it is, make sure it's, it has layers on the bottom of the box of, like, newspaper or something. Um, okay. Um, and any tools that you'll need, of course, to disassemble your uh, airsoft firearm replica to the point so you can get to the parts that you would like to age your weather. Step two, you put, like I said, you put the large contents such as the frame or, sorry, that's a slide, frame, uh, you know what I mean, uh, an equivalent, like, uh, Equivalent to a frame as opposed to a rifle would be a receiver. Uh, to a slide, maybe uh, a foregrip, a uh, dust cover. You get it. The bigger, the larger uh, metallic parts. Um, you put in some sort of box or whatever. You can even hang them. You know, as long as they can soak evenly. And they're in an area that's well ventilated. Along with your smaller parts, um, you know, just make sure the area around them is protected with like newspapers and stuff. And before you even handle the easy off, please wear your rubber gloves. And uh, if I were you, I wear protective eyewear, like goggles or something. Um. Now you're gonna. Sp Step three, you're going to spray every metallic piece that you want to age or weather evenly face up. For example, for smaller parts, because you can hang slides and frames. But for smaller parts, such as triggers, thumb safeties, hammers, grip safeties, mainspring housings, bushings, you know, all those smaller components, mag release, or mag catch, you put them facing up. The side that you see is the face. This would be the face, uh, on the thumb safety this would be the face, you get it right? The bushing this would be the face, you put them all facing up. 
they can be tight together and they don't uh, try not to have them touching just for whatever reason so that way you don't have corners that are untouched. Um, I can't really picture that happening because it's easy off foams and you're going to want to saturate all of the little pieces and the larger pieces. Um, just find a safe, protected place, like I said, to uh, put these uh, parts or the contents of which you're aging and weathering. Spray them down and let them soak. Four, you're going to let them soak for 40 minutes minimum. Every 40 minutes, you wipe down the contents. Be sure, again, you're wearing your gloves. Um, wipe them down. Don't wash them or anything. Don't clean them off completely. Just wipe them down so you can see what shade they are. Wipe down every piece to know what shade every piece is at that time. Write down. Keep notes or something. What time you did this. Uh, what, like, give a good like um, example. Like, What color or idea what color each piece was at that time. I know it sounds like a pain in the ass, but really if you want this to come out nice, that's really how you gotta do about it. One of the key things is this is not only safety, but um patience. Um five. Part five, check contents every four minutes, like I said, until you have the desired shade. The longer you leave the easy off on and you let it soak there, the darker the contents are going to get. Keep an eye on them. It's important. If you care about your airsoft firearm replica, you will, sorry to say it, you will babysit them. You will make sure everything's going good. Um, and again, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Make sure every part is stripped down. You don't want, like, if you're gonna spray the frame, don't leave the screws and everything in it. Make sure everything is bare. Make sure everything is, like, naked. Um, part six. When you reach the desired shade, wash off the contents of very warm or hot soapy water and let them soak in that water for about 15 minutes. Rinse them off after 15 minutes with clean water. Um, and then wash again if you like right after. Part 7. Dry off everything and spray down with one of these products. Spray them all down and let them sit on something where the oil can just hang out and dry. And, you know, it's we don't want them to dry completely, but just like all the remaining water just goes away, uh, just runs off or whatever, and you have nothing but that oil left. Um, after that, wipe off some of the excess oil, you know, after 15 minutes or whatever. Um, yeah, that's part eight or step eight. Wipe down contents and reassemble. So after I would. Soak these parts, clean these parts, let them sit with the WD-40, for example, which is what I used. Reassemble the piece. And enjoy your new look, or should I say, old look. Um, if there are any questions, any at all, just ask me. I'll try my best to answer any of these questions. By the way, in case, again, if I didn't mention it, this only works on lesser metals. It doesn't work on steel. It only works on like aluminum and other types of alloys. Um, which works out great because a lot of airsoft guns are made out of other alloys and aluminum. Um, Alright, again, any questions at all, just ask. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. Now, I wish you very good luck on uh, your project and Post a video or something. Show it off. Show what it looks like. It'll be awesome to see. Video response, maybe. Alright, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. See you later.